what is up guys? Trevor Ross Kavinsky here and on today's video I'm gonna go over a full guide on how to use Swift Soul. Now I know I've made two of these now But I'm gonna do the most recent update. I know we got these supreme dunks Which I just made a video so the video will be right there or there wherever you want to see it They're right there So and I saw some of you guys in the comment section want to see an updated Swift Soul guide So what I am gonna do is I am gonna go ahead and go through the full Swift Soul guide I'm gonna show you how to uh, create all your tasks Import your Gmails, add your billing addresses, all of that. I'm gonna walk you through the whole process, my recommendations. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna let's go ahead and start walking through this. We're gonna jump over onto the iPhone and we're gonna go ahead and show you through this whole thing. So I hope this helps you guys out. All right, so here is the home screen, guys. The home screen shows you everything that you have bought, your successful checkouts, your failed checkouts, this and that. As you can see here, you can see I've got a loose gauge beanie. That's one thing that I did hit. This will just be the home screen. This is the home page. So let's go ahead and start. I just wanted to show you the home page. Let's go to the settings page here. So with AYCD, you can implement AYCD, your API token and your access token, which this will allow you to solve captures by itself. So if I was to turn that on and I had access to that, it would allow me to go through that. You saw the error message that it did give me there. It's because I don't have access to that. But now, we do have the double harvester mode going here. Um, I do not run double harvester, but it's, oh, it's good to use if your phone can take it. I have an 11 Pro, and when I run double harvester with eight or seven, seven, eight tasks around there, it really, really slows down my phone. And the last thing you want is your phone to completely crash on you when you're trying to get these. Background mode will allow it to run in the background. You'll have to turn this setting on within your settings page of your actual iPhone to allow the app to run in the background, which when you do that, when you first download the app, it'll walk you through how to do that. Next is the skip bad items now if you're wondering what a bad item is say if it's out of stock or something it'll skip it or if the item just won't load and the server can't find it it'll just skip it if you're trying to multi-cart which we'll get in that here soon which is this option here uh, notifications which is always nice if something checks out if you need a captcha this goes along with the background mode and it'll tell you when it does that compact mode will will change how it looks I don't do this and I do not mess with custom delays but if you want to update your monitor delay or checkout delay you can do that there now, if you want to see all your success within your own Discord server, you can hit Discord webhook. You can run that through, and it'll show your, it'll legit show your checkouts, which is nice, and it always looks good to show off your success on Twitter or Instagram, because let's be honest, we all do that. We all show that success off. We get so, so excited for it. Um, and the rest is the guides. If you need the guides, customer support, their Discord. The Discord's always nice to be in because they answer your questions, and their Twitter. So let's go ahead and get into the fun stuff. So billing. Yeah, as you can see, there's two profiles here that I do have made. Of course, I'm going to blank all this out. Um, but let's go ahead and say I want, we're going to hit the little plus button in the middle. Obviously, your eyes go right to that big plus button. We're going to hit create a profile. So from here, my profile name is going to be Swift Soul Guide. Swift Soul. Well, I can't spell. The Swift Soul. Um, my full name is going to be Trevor Roscoe Vinsky. Um, email address is going to be Swift Soul at guide. Or at we'll just do at gmail.com and then your address line one it'll be whatever you want so one two three four whatever you need to do blah 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 lane and you can add this we'll, we'll do we'll do let's see here and this is just for test test lane uh, country USA phone number one 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 two 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 three four 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 there you go city we're just gonna say let's say Indianapolis just because it's random um, we're gonna do six five or let's do an actual one six two two uh, state we're gonna do go ahead and just random here now once again this is all random these are all just random card numbers of course uh, this is just for testing purposes you're gonna run all this through here I just want to show you how you can set these up there we go and if you want to auto jig your profile which is very very nice if you're using one card and you're using it multiple times if you auto jig this it's gonna literally randomly put these in see how it did um, a B zero six three one two three four test lane that's what the auto jig did there now this will allow it now when I turn it back off it'll take that off or it'll change it again it this will allow it so you can run multiple multiple task on one card and get multiple checkouts for one card now be careful if you're really wanting these dunks if you're not wanting to get canceled don't get too sent to the same house of the same product and now you can save the profile now the visa type it's not gonna work because it's not an actual actual visa card there so we're gonna move on from there I just want to show you just put stuff in each one of those kind of show you through the process it's really easy now this is where the fun starts to happen we hit the plus symbol and now let's add some gmails before you start your task creation I want you guys to add your gmail so you don't forget if you forget to if you forget to import your gmails you're gonna you're not gonna be able to solve these captures and then you're gonna be sitting there not checking out any items 
Um, so we're gonna add Gmail here. You go here to your Gmail spot and you hit, you hit choose an account. You can use another another account. There's, those are mine, that's why they're blanked out of course. You can type in your email, you hit next, and bam, they're right in here, the task pane. Now, one thing that I do recommend is before, about 10 minutes before the, it starts. Now, people may say other things, but I do about 10 minutes before, I'll start my harvester. Your heart, see now I hit start harvester, capture harvester is open. Now that that capture harvester is open, that all that means is if you have to solve the captures, if Swiftsoul doesn't solve them for you, now you can sit here, click, and you're good to go and you can solve the captures. So let's go back to this. Now let's create task. Now this will be loaded from last week, so let's go ahead and do the dice because why not? Or actually, let's go ahead and go to something we can change the size on. We'll go ahead and scroll down. These are old items, of course. We're gonna do a random one here. Size, say I wanted to just run large and color, I just wanted the black one. And then I could pick which profile I want from this indie indie copy, which once again, this is where I'm jigging my profile, where I'm running multiple tasks on one card. Um, and then once you check out, cancel those tasks so you don't get canceled, so all your orders don't get canceled. Be careful doing that. Now, capture mode, you can either have capture harvester or AYCD. If you have the AYCD, you can go ahead and do your API token like I was showing you earlier, or I just do capture harvester and it works great. And for drop time, initial drop time, so this Thursday, when these dunks do drop, run drop mode and start time manual. Next, oh, we'll, we'll go ahead and start these random, ran random. So if you do wanna do random, if you just wanna get something random will be your best chance. Hit start, there's that, you go back to here and then you can hit this. Um, let's go ahead and and then you can start your task. We're gonna scroll down to something that I know is not in stock so I don't check out something that I do not want because let me tell you, I've done that before and that's not what we want. Now if I randomly check out these on accident, so we're gonna go ahead here, size, random, color, let's just do white, indies, profile, save task, here we go. Now when we're back to our task screen, you go down here, cart UGB, UJB. Now this is why I did make two of these. I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you start these. You start it, it's gonna be initializing. Sitting here initializing, finding, finding, finding. If you actually do find an item, it's gonna be processing, processing, it, or it'll say waiting for captcha, or it'll say processed or failed. If you see failed checkout, which you'll see a lot, um, most likely it means it's out of stock, or if it says network error, that means the server's having trouble taking in all the information, all everything that's hitting it, which is gonna definitely happen. So just don't, it's not on your fault if it, that's happening, just a heads up. Now we're gonna go ahead and stop this real quick. And one thing that you can do, you can do this, add, you can multi-cart here, and you can grab this, and if you hold down, so I'm holding down on my finger, now these are in two of the same cards. So this is what the this is what premium will allow you to do. Now say if I wanted two low-key items and not something hype, because I don't recommend multi-carting hype items, um, I could get those two, and it saves a lot of cash when it comes to shipping. Because if you know shipping through Supreme, it does cost a nice little premium, a nice little, little bit of cash when you're doing this. So if you want to multi-cart some of those low-key items, some of those accessories that aren't really reselling the stuff for yourself, go ahead and multi-cart and get that checkout. Now once all this is done, you can literally go to your home screen and it'll show you everything that you've got. You can see the purchases. Swift Soul cooked last season, as always. That's why I'm always a firm believer that they'll come back from, from anything that happens. Um, so yeah, this is everything you need to know and if you want to mass edit your tasks, you can do it right there They have everything just like any other bot would have and this is everything. I've walked you through it all um, Hopefully that definitely did help you there So that's a quick little like nine or so minute It took about it took me about nine minutes to walk you through that I hope I explained that well enough if you do have any questions as always just hit that comment section down below because I am open to help you guys through anything um, if you need to message me personally on Instagram, I do have an Instagram which is right there. I respond to all of you guys. Thank you all for showing the support on there because we have been growing pretty well. And next, if you want a group where you want all your keywords and everything you need to know about this drop and stock numbers, this and that, Kick Notify is right there. So if you're interested in that, there will be a link down in the description as well, as always. But that is it for this one, guys. I hope this helped you out. I know there was a lot of demand to get this video out, so I pushed it and we got it done. Uh, of course, had to rock the Supreme shirt for it because I'm very excited for this week. I think Swift Soul will eat. Now, one thing I do recommend is just setting up everything. Like I said, I will be live for this drop, so if you need to ask me questions in real time, and if you want to see when I'm starting my things, go ahead and tune into that. That is it for this video, guys. If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace!